I think you have to understand that if you were to blister every time I touched your skin, it would hurt. So my condition is epidermolysis bullosa. In my skin, I get blisters, not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. And I get blisters in my mouth, in my esophagus. If I brush my teeth, like say, this morning, and if I wanted to do it in the evening, I wouldn't be able to because I get, I have actually torn my skin off on the inside of my lip. So that creates more blisters and then that takes more longer to heal. And then that reduces my movement of food intake as well because it puts me off from eating. Oral problems in UB are a, a big issue to the extent that as a child, you have difficulty getting enough nutrition in a child as they're growing anyway. But if they have sore mouth and they have uh, rotten teeth or no teeth and the tongue is tethered, it's almost impossible to get sufficient protein and uh, vitamins and goodness knows what in these people. So they're malnourished. We had an idea with um, Professor Grover's gels and uh, the, the team's interest in using anti-scarring treatments to put the two together as they've been done in other areas. And Professor Grover that said that he could create one of these gels which we could put in the mouth, which would stick to the lining of the mouth. This gel, once it uh, hits the inside of the mouth, will form a very fine film. Um, and within that film will be scar reducing molecules to help the scarring that these blisters eventually uh, form. Deborah has uh, given us two years of funding and that will take us through the sort of proof of concept stages of this. The idea in that two years is to get it almost ready for taking towards clinical trial. Uh, taking that technology forward will be easier. There'll be less preclinical hurdles for us to have to go through to prove that we've got something that can really improve these patients' lives.